Hey guys, so I am in the same outfit as I just filmed my pregnancy essentials, but I wanted to quickly film and talk about my favorite luxury designer belt bags that are out now that are under a thousand dollars. There are so many that I love that are above thousand dollars, but for me, this is still a trend and it's still something that I'm not 100% sure that I would wanna spend more than $1,000 on. So I have been lusting over these bags and for the most part, except for one of them, I really haven't seen them on anybody. And I do live in LA, I work in Beverly Hills. I see every single handbag you could think of under the sun times 10 over and over and over again. And these are some that I just really don't see people with, except for one, which you'll know when I talk about it. So I'm just gonna put a screenshot here on the screen of the ones that I'm talking about. And the more that I look at these, I'm like, God, they really do suit my style. Like it is a very me type of look of a bag. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I do think I'm gonna end up with one. Not 100% sure which one. This is definitely gonna take me some time to choose. But here are my top. I think there's like seven really, really good ones that are under $1,000. So the first one I have seen a lot of people with, probably actually in the little bit of the bigger size. But this one I love because it's super tiny and it's the, I'm looking at my phone so I can actually say the correct name. It's a Gucci Ophidia Gigi Supreme Canvas Belt Bag. And this one is like the really small one. It's 750. If you want the next size up, I believe it's like 11 something. So I would, if I did want to get this one, I probably would get the $1,100 one, but I wanted to recommend the one that's under $1,000 that I still think is super cute. I mean, it's, there's probably only room for your phone without a case and a credit card, but I'm just obsessed with the look i love the look of a vintage gucci bag i probably would not invest in this collection that they have you know looking vintage because you could find amazing actual gucci vintage handbags but for the fanny pack i feel like it's a little bit different this is probably something very difficult to find actually in the actual pre-loved world being vintage so i really really love this bag and the price point's really good and because it's a canvas i feel like it's super durable and easy to take care of next one is so beautiful i'm obsessed with this this is something you can actually wear dressy i feel like you can wear dressy it's the saint laurent lou matelasse leather belt bag but i like the black on black i like just the all black i think it is so stunning it's so simple and I'm a sucker for the blacked out sort of vibe. And I like that it's the shape, just like the Gucci one, that it's a shape that you can actually wear as a belt bag versus like, you know, the Louis huge one that you can wear across your chest. That's super cute, but I don't know how I'd feel about wearing that as an actual belt bag. But these actually look cute as a belt bag. And this one you could wear dressy. This one retails for $9.95. I think it's totally worth it. And it definitely looks a little bit bigger than the Gucci little mini one. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Lou collection from Saint Laurent. So this to me is just like drool over type of bag. Next is probably the one I'm considering the most because it is so practical and I feel like this is something I'm gonna like be able to pull out 10 years from now and it's still kind of cool because it has that old school Prada logo and it's the small nylon belt bag by Prada and it's 670 bucks. It looks like it's a decent size, good enough for like, you know, your phone, your your keys, your card holder and chapstick. I think a belt bag going forward, being a mom with a stroller, I think it's super smart. You could just keep your bigger items in your baby's diaper bag and just sort of keep your main essentials on you. So this is something that's super cute and obviously very, very, very carefree because it's nylon so sticky fingers i do not care about coming near this and i just like the simple all black one in this style there is another prada one that i'm going to be talking about that i'm like oh my gosh that like makes my heart like skip a beat so love this one and like i said it's 670s so, and it also comes in like a burgundy and i think a navy i don't know i just really really love this one next up is the balenciaga explorer logo belt bag i cannot stand balenciaga's like huge balenciaga written on on those like handbags that they're doing at the bottom those rounded half moon ones i can't stand that look i actually do not like the way the giant balenciaga logo looks on anything i don't want to offend anyone but this one is like super cute because it's very very tiny it almost just looks like a pattern from afar and again is such a durable fabric it's 850 matches everything and this is an actual like fanny pack shape same thing with like the prada one and it doesn't look like it's like that huge where it's going to look ginormous being worn on the waist i don't know i just really really like it the only balenciaga logo thing that I like where it has it like huge is on the back of the denim jackets. 
that's pretty much it but this logo print i think is like a little bit more subtle even though it's more logos i don't know if that makes sense i just don't really like their other bags that they're doing with the giant logo or even the fanny pack that they have or belt bag whatever you guys want to call them i call them fanny packs okay i was raised in the 90s born in the 80s the other belt bag that they have with the big logo on it i don't know that just looks cheap to me i don't know what it is but this one's super super cute and again super affordable the next one is a prada bag again oh this one's so cute it's a leopard print nylon belt bag this one's 870 so it's a little bit more than the other prada one but for some reason they just got this so spot on with like the old school prada triangle in the front the shape is like perfect for crossbody and or on the waist and looks like a good everyday sort of size and they got the leopard print like perfect i feel like some leopard prints are just not my cup of tea i'm really picky about leopard print because for me leopard print is like a solid it's like a black i think it goes with everything it's like it's super cute and it's just always a relevant especially in my wardrobe and this one for some reason just speaks to me on so many levels but like i said i'm leaning more towards all black just because of practicality but then this one just is so beyond so beyond cute obsessed with it next up is actually another gucci one and this is the men's gg velvet belt bag and this is 790 this i think is insane that this is actually cheaper than the bigger canvas supreme bag and i think this is so stunning and i have not seen one person with this it must be new for fall but i think it's amazing and the price point is so so good i'm so in love with this one and i really really like the whole brown velvets like the more natural tone velvets that they're doing like that caramely tone teddy bear marmont bag that they have i still lost over that bag it's so beautiful this is really cool going into fall the only hesitation is i don't know how durable it is with sticky fingers or going to a theme park or wearing it to a festival or anything like that but just the look of it is extremely beautiful and luxe looking so i love this one last but not least is another men's one which i believe that i feel like most of these are unisex and i think they look cool on whether you're a guy girl whatever you are it doesn't really matter but this is considered a men's one it's the fendi men's canvas striped belt bag slash fanny pack this one's 890 and this one is super cool i feel like the fendi logo and the little writing on the belt is a little bit more understated than any other like huge crazy fendi zuka print everywhere type of bag and again something i've never seen on anyone this one's so outrageously cute and it's such a good price point i don't know if i said already it's 890 and i just really really like it so i'm lusting after pretty much every single one of these that i told you the ones that would probably be more like towards like on the back end burner where i wouldn't more than likely not get them but i still lust over them would be the velvet and like the lou just because they aren't as like durable and practical and when i think of belt bag and fanny pack i think of practicality almost like a backpack type of thing where you just want to throw it on take it to anywhere a theme park amusement park whatever festival the zoo a park have your baby running around sticky fingers like i just think of practicality when i think of fanny packs as well so I hope you guys like this these are really 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 good ones for under thousand bucks i know it's a trend that i think is probably here to stay for a little bit longer or longer and i feel like if it just suits your actual personal style it's here forever it doesn't really matter just like a lot of people thought the backpacks like mini backpacks and backpacks in general were a trend for me they absolutely are not that is a staple type of style of handbag that will always always be here and is super super convenient i feel like belt bags are kind of leaning more towards that way especially since the luxury designer world has tapped into that and now everybody is just like sort of going belt bag crazy so i absolutely adore these if i were to invest in a belt bag that's more than a thousand dollars it would definitely be the louis vuitton classic belt bag that pretty much everybody has which i don't like that everyone has it but i feel like they have it for a good reason it is such a good everyday size i feel like it is the belt bag version of my palm springs backpack in the pm size and now that i have the the mini palm springs <laughs> i really like the whole look of like a very casual monogram piece it's just something i always live for i'm a total louis girl i think they're fantastic so if i were to invest in something more pricey that would probably be the route i would go just in case if anyone was wondering but for now my eyes are on items that are less than a thousand bucks in the luxury world and there's so many cute you do not have to buy a luxury belt bag there are so many cute ones on the high street rebecca minkoff little Edie like belt bag that she has out right now is so freaking cute and that's another reason why i've been super hesitant into diving into those because 
there are so many cute ones on the high street. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's another style of bag or type of bag or brand that you want me to specifically do a video on or a price point that you want me to do a video on in the luxury world, please let me know. I'm so open to suggestions and I will see you guys next time. Bye.